a collection that are other than whiskey jugs. Everybody so calls these whiskey the jugs, stuff? but in reality they uh, contain quite a bit of other things. Anything that was liquid could be poured into these things. We have uh, micro killer, which is the Radom's micro killer in the middle and the top, which is a pretty common jug, but it also says number one, which doesn't refer to a one gallon jug. Basically, that refers to the strength of the microbe killer, which basically was water. But they range from one to four, so that would be another collectible, just collecting microbe killer jugs. Uh, there is a jug in the front of Byramont vinegar, which has an awful lot of advertising. When I first saw it, I thought someone had put decals all over the jug, but it is uh, on the jug under the glaze, and it advertises that it kills ptomaines and cholera, and it prevents uh, mosquito bites, and it goes on and on and on. It's quite a, like a health cure. The GM long seafood jug uh, probably contained chowder or some sort of pickled fish. It does have a wider mouth, which is more common with uh, similar jugs that carried oysters. And uh, you, see, you see a lot of those from Maine also. The uh, radium water jug is kind of interesting. It, uh, there was a certain time in our history when they took that as a health cure, but if you drank a lot of it, you were assured a pretty awful death because uh, you died from radiation poisoning. I probably couldn't get that through airport security because I'm sure it's still glow. <laughs> Ross Barber Supplies is kind of interesting because it was a, pro a prohibition era jug and it also contained 55% alcohol. And if you put that in your head, you probably would find your hair falling out rather than having it grow. So I'm sure it was something that was meant to be swallowed. Okay, this is actually just a, a sub-collection of my whiskey collection, or jug collection, I should say. And uh, it's, it's just kind of interesting to see things such as shoe polish and radium water and the different drugs and vinegar and and that sort of thing, uh, mercury for that matter, that can be found inside of jugs. It's, it's an interesting little side.